The Cuban film industry began in 1959. 58 years later, the industry continues to grow. Director Miguel Coyula and actress Lynn Cruz presented their work and hosted workshops. Lynn Cruz explained how important it is for the director to know their actors. It's very important for the director to know the personality of the actor. No, eh, no estoy hablando en términos personales, eh, sino la personalidad artística del, del actor, que bueno, casi siempre se corresponde, pero... No en términos de personal relación, sino la personalidad artística del actor, que a veces se corresponde con otros, pero no She also spoke about what it's like to work with Miguel Coyula. To work with Miguel has been great. I don't only work as an actress, but I also work behind the camera. And I have discovered that, in my opinion, the actor's role is more difficult. Miguel Coyula explained how the westernizing of Cuba is changing the film industry. Among independent filmmakers that they want to use finance films from their own pocket, but uh, fitting them into narrative formulas in, or, in order to be assimilated by the industry, by the new world, which is, has nothing to do with what the original idea for the film industry in Cuba was created for, which was precisely to make films that were outside of the mainstream. After the screening of his film, Memories of Overdevelopment, Coyula showed the audience how he used After Effects to change scenes in the movie. By the end of the event, Coyula previewed his upcoming movie, Blue Heart. For WTOP 10, I'm Brandon Cortez.